AG Labs, my name is Ben. Hello, good morning, welcome to the micro soldering show. And today in the morning, we just start by an iPhone X, which was mailed in by another B2B partner because it doesn't want to boot, doesn't want to charge, it doesn't do anything at all. I want to see if this really is the case. So we try to open up the device, or we will open up the device, and we will see where the problem is. So. Ooh. Das war ein halber Fingerabschnitt. Wow. Okay, it wasn't open before. That's pretty good. I just cut at my finger a little bit, but today is a day. Okay, it can happen. You can cut up your finger and it's just just like nothing. Okay, here we are. Oh, a Apple just forgot some something in the phone. You see that really often on devices which were made at big factories. So, we get up the EMI shields. Get up the battery, disconnect the face ID and the screen, get the screen out and we hook it up to power supply. Okay, so now let's see where the problem is. We got no short, and if we try to boot, if we try to boot, we have a stuck at 50 milliamps. Mm -hmm. That's perhaps interesting. Mm -hmm. 55 milliamps. So, okay, we got a stock at 55 milliamps. What's the first thing we can do in that case? We just see if components are related to that problem. So we disconnect all the components. Come out. Why do you want to come out? Okay. So we disconnect all the components take out the board and have a look what does the board without any components connected Here we are. 
and here we got only the board. Let's see what's happening if we try to boot only the board without any components connected and we are going directly to 50 milliamps and nothing stuck stuck at 50 milliamps so that's pretty interesting perhaps in this case normally two lines are just not connected which is which each other and caused by that we just don't get a boot so let's see the board do we see any signs of ball breaks or corrosion Okay. No, we don't see. That's okay. At the weekend we have advanced extended training. And we will do the iPhone X in that training. So this would be a really interesting case for the board level repair school. So I don't see any signs of bent or cracked bolts or loose components or water contacts. So I don't see anything. I don't see any signs of long through damages. The phone wasn't opened before. There is no physical damage on the board. Is there a bend? Perhaps no, there is nothing. There's just really nothing. Interesting. So in this case, the only way to solve a problem like this is just to, to separate the sandwich board. David, for the um, XS Max, you can have a look up at our website for the um, pulled price for the display. It's online. It's pulled, yes. Are we here again? Just had to, to tell David something. Okay. <coughs> so I need to finish this video and then I have to encode three videos. Andy did two today. What? What? No, no, no. With connected display, it's zero. And it's display related problem so it's 100 percent okay Does it first it goes to 900 and then it goes to zero so now we need to separate the board first we need to do a little cut cut here Short time, I just use some some hard air to help.
and separate it. Okay. So what about the value for only the top layer board? Should be about 60, if it's hot, 70, 75 milliamps. Because without connected bottom layer board on Intel devices like this, the top layer board should be connect uh, should be recognized as DFU mode. So about yeah, that's good. So we are over 100 because the board is very hot. I just just cool it down a little bit, and then we should get about 60 to 70 milliamps on boot. And 68, 69, 72, we got a little bit of feed in the system, so that's just normal. Yeah, if I cool it down, we go down 67, six, that's, that's great. So that's okay, so the top layer board is good. What we can do now is just take off the solder. I'm missing my my AirPods still. Does anybody know where my AirPods are? here we just clean the board taking off the solder any other bits already copied one. and the other one okay. it's already uncopying or it's See, you just need to clean the pads very well. Okay. After we did that, take a clean room wipe. By the way, if you want to see Dennis Keidel 51 in a video, doing an iPhone export just give me a comment we want to see Keidel 51 if we got enough comments Keidel 51 will do the iPhone export It's easy for him, he said, he, but he will do the video in German, and you will need a lot of a lot of beer if you have a have a look at the video of Kylo Fifty One. So now we just clean up the top layer board and then we take a socket and have a look. Thanks a lot Andy. Is that the first video or the second which you did today? The first? Is 
second is a, I think it's bigger. Yesterday in the evening, Keitel, I just used your rags, which your mom brought yesterday. And I did Rührei. It was really, really good. Ich habe gesagt, ich habe gestern Rührei gemacht von den Eiern. clean up the board gently all the pets don't lose any components Here we are. Clean the board, top and bottom. Just doing a picture, and after that, we take the socket and <coughs> see if the board boots or not. need to get the board down. I don't need to connect the screen. And now I want to see what's happening if I try to boot. And we get a boot. And that's a typically problem for ball break within or between the two, two board hearts. It's not a, not a big repair now. First I thought, oh, it could be could be something bigger but it's just broken balls between the board halves if I had now the issue that I got stuck again on 55 milliamps um, at the socket then I had to take a look for the readings of the bottom board by using a socket like this so here I can do diet mode readings but in this case, I tested it by using in the socket and I see, okay, it's a normal boot. So I definitely know that's just broken, um, just broken balls between the two board halves. So now we just want to do a reball of the bottom board. In the stencil. Getting some paste in it. Andy, it's your your third tea for today. What up? Are you sick? CT fit heiße Zitrone. Lager, Lager, Lager. I 
Ah, Andy stopped smoking again. Great. Really? He only smokes weed now. Not only weed. Crack, crack. I got a new I got a new uh, series on Netflix now. It's called Dope, and uh, yeah, but it's a new uh, a new season now. Yeah. 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 Really. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry, I was a little bit off topic. So you see, just getting the paste into the stencil. Netflix and chill. And after that, we just use a wipe. In Germany, if we say we use a wipe, then we don't use a wipe. We do other things. Because a wipe in Germany is women. Okay? Ah, you, you won't understand that, but it's not a problem. So, <laughs> getting that, getting up the top, right onto the stencil, and let's start by reballing that beautiful iPhone export. You could uh, start finishing your your lineup. Just ma just mount the device. Oh no. Now we just reball the board fast. And I, I like to do the reboil of the export by using hot air and not using preheat <laughs> because I can control the air better in that way or the heat, I can control the heat better in, in this way. So, one ball just popped out. Okay, go back where you came from. Okay, from here. So, stay there, please. Just one point of flux here, and it's looking nice. Great, waiting short time for cooling down. Get the stencil up, and have a look at this beautiful revolve.
That's good. Get some flux in here. And do the reflow. Done. Heat sink out. Checking a brush. Cleaning the board. You see the only two people in here who are always working. It's Ilya and me. Did you ever see Ilya not working? No. Did you ever see me not working? No. Okay, that looks okay. Pretty nice. So now it's time for getting them boards back together. Just want to do a picture. Now we can solder them two board halves back together. So at first what do we need to do? Just getting some flux in here. everywhere so let's have a look I think he was some dirt yes but the rest is pretty okay so we take the top layer board and do placement placement has to be good Placement is okay. Placement looks perfect. You can see, and now we can solder the board back together. Just waiting a short time until the preheater reached the right temperature, 183 or 185 you can use, just wait a second. Preheater has reached the right temperature. <sighs> S 
so I just help the board by using a small amount of air or of heat and airflow to get down faster. And we are done. Put off the preheater. Waiting a short time. Uh, 299 for HDD and RAM. Okay, that looks pretty good and pretty good. Just cooling down. And after that we can just test. Okay, so we hook up the screen. light sensor and let's check if that works again and boom we are back to life again with our iPhone X after no boot stuck at 55 milliamps because of Disconnected boards between the board halves. Okay, I just want to cover to cover that because I don't know if there are any important private pictures on the phone. Okay. And yeah, there is a private picture, but you see the phone is fully working again. Just Board break between the board with the, the the two board halves. It's a really important error which often occurs on these iPhone X. Um, normally, it's not this 55 milliamp state, but it can be. Like you saw, just a little board reball and the phone is back to life again. It's not not a big uh, solution search because. You can directly test, you can separate the boards, you can take off the solder and you can see does it boot in the socket. Does it boot in the socket, it's okay. Does it not boot in the socket, we can uh, search for, for any further errors. You need to know the values so you can find um, the errors faster. Okay. I hope you like that. If you want to learn things like that easily, you can do that at Bottle Up Repair School Germany. If you are working at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets, you can easily join our Facebook group Smartphone Repair Group Germany. And by the way, buy our ICC Pro the most amazing tool in the world, I think. I'm out. Boom! Back to life again. Here's Ben.